Welcome to Early Bird Picker. It is day two. It is Tuesday of my week in the life of a full-time reseller. I'm documenting for, trying to document for a week my journey into how much time I spend doing every task during my day, reselling, show you the things I pick up at holes, uh, things that have sold, and just any other general reselling flip tip that I have along the way. Come along with me. I'm at my first thrift store. I'm starting out the morning thrifting. I didn't have any sales overnight, so normally I would start the morning with going get my sales shipped out and going to the post office but uh, since I don't have any sales unfortunately going thrifting I have three thrift stores in mind I'm going to go into my local what used to be my honey hole picking store it, it's been dry lately so I haven't had any great luck here but I thought I'd stop by anyway and then I've got two good wheels one that's pretty far away so I will be spending some time driving this morning Actually found something here. Found these strawberries and cream. Let me flip the camera around. Little skillet, little pot. Um, I thought the the design on it was interesting enough to be vintage. And it's um, Sheffield strawberries and cream. And it's not made in the USA, unfortunately. But when you look up that particular design on eBay, pretty good sell through. Not particularly. I don't see any really other pots and skillets, but like saucers and cups. But I'm gonna take a chance on these. Probably be paying like a dollar or two for these. Hopefully. I just got really excited. I saw this. Uh, bowl basically or it's actually probably like a dome lid and it, on this side I recognize the handle that's a salad master handle you can see the shape of it unfortunately it's missing the handle on this side salad master I just sold a ton of it um, I had a big lot that I sold for really really good money I'm probably still going to get this and sell this for the handle only and somebody will have a replacement handle and I'm going to see if the stuff that goes inside of it um, I might be able to sell that as replacement too as far as parting things out, what was interesting inside that dome lid was this Revere Ware. This is an egg poacher poacher insert. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the other pieces that go with it, but this will go for about nine bucks by itself, and I'll probably be getting this just as a throw-in with the other pot and pan. What's really cool about this particular Honey Hole thrift store is they don't price anything. They just look at what's in your cart and give you a really, really good price on everything. This particular thrift store is so different than like a Goodwill. At Goodwill, there's just really, really nice stuff. At this store, you're looking for stuff that's you're going to pay just like less than a dollar usually for stuff, and so the return you don't you don't have to get near as much i'm gonna pick up this killer bee head cover it's like vintage looking it's in really nice condition probably gonna get about seven bucks for this so nothing major but at the end of the day uh, seven bucks you know probably flip a quarter or 50 cents into seven that's not bad and this is super easy to ship super easy to take a couple pictures of good sell through on it I spent way more time in there than I normally do. I spent 22 minutes inside that thrift store. And I think the real winners that we came out with will be the strawberries and cream cookware. Um, so we'll be making some profit off what we paid. $4 total is what I was charged at the register. I may be taking my chance with these Birkenstocks. They're $24.99. They're in the case. You can see they're the all white. They're super clean looking. They have the box. Looks like I could get probably like 50 bucks for them with the box on eBay. So I'd double my money. All right, I just spent 25 minutes inside that Goodwill, and I um, it was the time of day when they were putting out shoes, which is like my absolute favorite time of day, putting out brand new, or you know, not brand new, new shoes, but new shoes to the store anyway. Um, so I did a lot of research. I spent some time researching a lot of different ones. I ended up pulling three different ones. Let me show you what I got. I got some really, really good deals. Um, this is the first time I've ever found this brand. This is Sorrel, which I, I definitely know is a major Bolo brand. This is the like Boda boot or Boda bag boot or something like this. It looks like it's a men's. I only paid $14.99 for these. What I'm going to do is put some void fill in there to kind of help reform the shoe and they should be looking really nice. Um, next I got these Nike Air Max, um, Kind of an older shoe but right now older nikes are definitely in in style right now and so these should sell pretty well and paying 8.99 on these and then probably the best snag of the day these weren't prices so that means they were six bucks um is these a solo i've never pulled this brand before but just looking at the quality of the boot i just instantly knew this is a really high quality boot these should probably the sold comps on these go for about 85 dollars plus shipping super super happy with the three pair of shoes i got at this first goodwill i had a really good feeling that it was um sometimes i just think i well i've actually in the past like written down times that it was really good to go and about 11 in the morning is when it's really good to go to this goodwill and today proved to be true and it's the best time of day like i said and so really happy and moving on to the next goodwill gonna drive a little ways for this one uh going downtown basically and we'll see if we have this can carry on our luck there That was a strikeout at the Goodwill. I did find a really nice pair of Danner boots, D-A-N-N-E-R, Danner, but they were 65 bucks, and so I was just like, no way. It must be my week for Nerf. I just found this Nerf Rapid Strike CS18. Should go for about 25 plus shipping on eBay. Gonna be paying six bucks for it. 
Okay, so I went to a total of four thrift stores today. It's been a total of 88 minutes uh, combined at all the thrift stores. That doesn't include the driving. Uh, I'm not gonna go to any more thrift stores later this afternoon for one, because I haven't done any listing. The other thing is I have to take my dogs to the vet today, um, which that'll kind of interrupt my listing and everything. But really, I what's cool about it though is, um, you know, com as compared to when you have a job and you're employed, I don't have to ask off for time to make, you know, it's just really nice to be able to like up and take your dog to the vet be and you don't have to ask anyone other than yourself about it. And so I'll be doing Doing that in the middle of today and that'll kind of interrupt my listing flow but as for now i'm headed home and going to get some stuff listed i actually have had one sale come through today only one but it's a really good one let's grab it sold Got the Nike Kobe's here. You can see this was kind of a hard pick for me because you can see they're pretty dingy here. These are actually after putting them in OxyClean. And so I have a tub where I rinse shoes basically or I soak them. I take out the insoles and I soak them. Unfortunately, when I soaked them, I did not take out the laces and the laces stained during the OxyClean. But these actually look a lot better than they did. I ended up getting $86 plus shipping on these and I paid $6 only at a Goodwill for them. Headed to take my dogs to the vet. The only thing I got listed today was this Aboset bike saddle. It's vintage, it's titanium on the bottom. I paid five bucks for this and expect to get like 59 for it. And um, I got all these uh, shoes here. I took photos of them. I just gotta get those listed. So, but I'll run off to the vet and then maybe I'll be back and have uh, some more listings today. So the middle of today was really interrupted by having to take my dogs to the vet. So I didn't get very much reselling um, activities done as far as listing. That's day two in a row. And so again, this video series is supposed to be able just to document my journey, just being about one month into full-time reselling. By no means am I saying this is the way to carry out your business. It's just an honest look at where I'm at documenting my time and it's gonna really help me improve. They say that you can't uh, can't manage what you don't measure. And so I'm starting out uh, my journey. I wish I'd started, it, it would have been really difficult to start out day one of you know going into this full time but i'm really happy that i'm starting so early to document how many minutes i spend doing different things so that i can really like d delve in and make myself more efficient but also with reselling what's cool about it is you can be your own boss and if some days you want to go more spend more time heavily sourcing like today i went to four thrift stores that's definitely more than i normally go to i definitely always go to one sometimes two but not normally three and definitely not four and so today was a heavy sourcing day for me and heavy driving day again so tomorrow I anticipate I won't go to all those same thrift stores again. I'll stay home and I'll be uh, hopefully hitting my goal of listing 10 items and hopefully a few more since I plan to be home a lot tomorrow. Um, I The only thing I have going on my radar tomorrow is I have to take those shoes to the post office that sold today, which is a good thing. Um, and other than that, I can stay home and get some listing done. So today is Tuesday. I spent a total of 345 minutes doing reselling activities today, which is a total which is five hours and 45 minutes total and so that's not bad it's up from yesterday about about an hour increase um, reselling activities today as compared to yesterday and so definitely not full-time hours yet but that's a cool thing about reselling also is that you can make if you get yourself in a really efficient manner and focused you can make full-time money on a part-time hours and so that's not necessarily a bad thing and like I said, I include my YouTube in my reselling because um, as far as all the resellers, I know if you say, hey, here's a stream of, here's a bolo, here's a way to make money, here's another way to make money, resellers tend to jump on that. And so in my mind, YouTube is, being a content creator is a bolo in itself if you're a reseller. It's just another way that you can make a stream of money potentially if you get enough both uh, viewers and uh, people watching the number of hours that your videos are watched. And so, YouTube definitely is part of my strategy in reselling to be part of my income stream. I'm not trying to hide that. Uh, it's just smart to me. But um, so you'll see that in prep and cleaning today, I spent a total of four minutes. That means prep and cleaning different like uh, the products that I was going to list. I only got four things listed today, like I said. Um, I took 14 minutes to do photos and photo editing, 35 minutes in total to actually list the items, three minutes in shipping my shoes uh, that sold today. 88 minutes total in the four thrift stores. It was interesting, I averaged about 20 some minutes uh, per thrift store and um, 
I don't know if that surprises me or not. I, uh, I, I never really think about how many minutes I go thrifting, but this uh, project is certainly uh, having me focus in on it. And so I know that today there is like more inventory than normal to look through. And so probably normally I might only be in a thrift store like 10 to 15 minutes if it's dry. Um, I didn't spend any time at the post office, unfortunately. I spent 65 minutes in total driving, um, which I, I'm glad that at least my thrifting was higher than my driving. In total, I'm guesstimating that I'm going to spend about 99 minutes on YouTube today. I already have the minutes uh, that I've actually spent on YouTube, and then I'm going to spend probably about 30 minutes more editing this video. That's just a guesstimate. I don't know for certain on this one, so it's a little bit hard to track, and I don't since it's, it'll be done like after the video is made. I spent seven minutes loading and unloading my truck, five minutes messaging potential buyers, 21 me minutes on social media, and that kind of flows in with um, the reselling and the YouTube together. And then, like I said, total four items listed. I hope to have that number way more, definitely 10 tomorrow, um, hopefully getting closer to that 20 mark, which for me would be really good because I'm still trying to get myself organized and just get the flow of everything going here uh, in the Early Bird Picker Nest as I move into full time. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Early Bird Picker. I may do a few more minutes of cleaning up uh, the area behind me. Uh, it's really bothering me that my area where I unload is busy, but I just wanted to finish up with this being the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I'm Rafa, Early Bird Picker. I'll see all y'all on the next video.